plain splatters man in a very unpleasant way with human waste. A one in a billion chance saw Windsor man splattered in a very unpleasant way with human waste from an overflying plane. In mid-July this year, the unnamed man was outside his home when suddenly his whole garden, and garden umbrellas, and him were completely covered in excrement. The incident was reported to the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead's Aviation Forum, with Councillor Karen Davies saying she was horrified when she found out. Contrary to somewhat common belief, planes don't dump passengers' waste mid-flight. After the toilet is flushed, the waste is stored in a secure sewage tank until the aircraft safely lands, where it's disposed of in a safe, sanitary manner. However, there are still reports of blue ice falling from the sky, the result of waste leaking and freezing so high in the atmosphere, but this incident was not like that. The dreadful episode saw the man's whole garden splattered in a very unpleasant way, Davies said, BBC News reports. He was out in the garden at the time, so a really horrible, horrible experience. Hopefully it never happens again to any of our residents. John Bowden, councillor for Eaton and Castle, said the man's unfortunate accident was a one in a billion chance. He also said the waste may have been more fluidy than normal due to the hot weather. Jeff Paxton, the Whitfield Parish councillor who's also worked at airports for the past four decades, said it was a very rare incident. We used to have problems with blue ice frozen human waste and disinfectant on arrivals but that was because those toilets used to leak, he said, estimating the waste to have leaked out of the vent when the plane dipped below 6,000 feet. However, the man has no intentions of pursuing an insurance claim. Obviously he wasn't going to do that for the sake of a couple of garden umbrellas, in terms of bumping up his premium, so he's just sort of had to take it on the chin, Davies said. The airline hasn't been revealed, although Davies said it was based a very long way away from here.